session may be on. I don't think we will. You did say, and you've said it again tonight. Yeah. If you say to people, boy, you're making the bonuses of a Fortune 500 company, you're working in a fire department where you're not making the bonuses of a Fortune 500 company or anything close to it, if you make a statement like no other community does that, those are just not true statements. And to say those in a public forum, and if I was working for the fire department, I'd feel really demoralized when, when that's made in public and people are hearing that. People are not making Fortune 500 bonuses. Also, let me finish, if you're going to make statements about Comparative communities, do your homework all the way. Don't just do half the homework. Compare, do the work to say which are the communities that do comparable services, comparable size, comparable number of calls. That's what these guys did. They then went ahead and did that. So they told you right there, these are the communities that are comparable communities. If you look at this chart, you will see that we are almost identical. Some ways a little touch higher, a percent or two higher, some places a touch or two lower. And once again tonight, you're confusing the public when you bring up these kind of statements. Here are the communities. Here is the outline. I hope people will look at this. And I hope that in the future that you, and I, I applaud you that you're going through this with a fine tooth comb, but I hope before you make statements in public, you go to a department head, you have enough trust in that, go to them, ask them the questions, get the material, and then if you're not satisfied in public, then make those statements. But on this one, Gene, Councilor, I respectfully say that you have, have gone over the line, you've demoralized the department, and I think it's been unfair statements. Uh, the, that was addressed to the Councilor Tacey. He has the right to respond. <laughs> Did you have your hand up? Did I see your hand up? It is not my intention to demoralize anyone. Right. It is my intention to look at the revenue streams, period. That's all it's about is the revenue stream, it is how we are spending the money, period. Receipts reserved for appropriation. When you told me I was nuts for parking, I was right on. I was spot on. These, this money can be used for any lawful municipal expense. That's why it's receipts reserved for appropriation. It is not an enterprise fund. Can Period. I address that? So I'm not through yet. So if this money can be used for any lawful municipal expense, then we need to look at it. And if you and, and you said it before too, that the council doesn't have. The council shouldn't be looking at this stuff. He said that on the radio, on the Chris Collins show. I listened to you. Let me say what I actually said. So once again, don't misquote. I said, I don't think it's the job of counselors to micromanage, but if they choose to do that, if you go back, they should do their homework and first, before coming before the public, make sure they do their homework, get all the facts, and I think it's appropriate to go to the department head first with those questions. If you're not satisfied at that point, then come forward to the public. Once again, I believe your intent on this, Counselor. I think you do not have an intent to demoralize the department. I do believe that. However, your actions have demoralized the department as what we've heard the chief said. Because when you make statements like members of a department are getting the bonuses of a Fortune 500 company, when you make a statement like no other community has this kind of stipend, that whether it was your intent or not to do that, and I believe it was not, the action and the statements have a different result than what your initial intention was. We'll go on like this for hours. Different departments, different fire departments all over the Commonwealth do things differently. They do things, they, they, they put money away in different, different ways. They have enterprise funds for, for ambulances. They have receipts reserved for appropriation. Some don't have any. Some just take every penny that comes into the ambulance billing and goes right into the general fund and is distributed from there, period. So economic models, we are falling apart. We need to look at our revenue streams, period. That's all there this is to council, it. I want one last statement, please. This council voted unanimously to set it up this way. Yep. If we want to change it, fine. I fully supported that and I support it now because it does have a very transparent way of here's this business. These guys basically came to us and said, look, we've got a creative idea. Talk about new economic models. Basically, they were saying, we're going to have to cut nine firefighters. They came before us and basically with the mayor said, we've got a creative idea. It's like a business. And we're going to be able to fund it in a certain way. Here's how we want to structure it. And I believe it was a unanimous vote by this council that was excited about that structure. I fully support If you want to go back and look at a way of structuring it differently, I will support you. But to make statements like no other community does this or these guys get bonuses like Fortune 500, that's over the top. 